हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट इन मैथ्स कॉल्ड एज फंक्शंस नाउ यू यूज दिस मैथमेटिकल फंक्शंस इन योर एवरी डे टू डे लाइफ प्लस दिस फंक्शंस प्लेज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल एंड इट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक व्हेन यू आर डीलिंग विद एंट्रेंस एग्जाम इन फ्यूचर यू विल बी डीलिंग विद लॉट्स ऑफ एंट्रेंस एग्जाम सो देयर आल्सो इट हैज एन इंपॉर्टेंट वेटेज ओके सो लेट अस ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस कांसेप्ट now for understanding functions we are going to go step by step so the very first step that we are going to take up is is understanding what is cartesian product now i will be explaining you cartesian product by explaining you another small concept called as ordered pairs okay now this word pairs is familiar to you you must have seen and used in schools also now what is that one additional thing added to this pairs which makes it an ordered pair let us try to understand that so whenever you are forming ordered pair there is lot of importance that is to be given to the order of the elements in which they are placed let us see this or let us understand this with an example suppose i have a set which contains two element and i am being told to make different different pairs but right now i am not told to make just pair i want to make ordered pair this is an important part so the position or the order in which i will be using this element will be very important let us see that suppose i am being told to make an ordered pair now whenever you make an ordered pair they are always written in round bracket and separated by comma so the first element which i am forming is 1 comma 2 such type of element is also called as tuple okay it's called tuple see the first element in this tuple is 1 and the second element is 2 so the first position is occupied by 1 second position is occupied by 2 there's one more possibility i can place 2 at the first position and 1 at the second position this is also an ordered pair so the position or the order in which your element is being placed is important when you are talking about ordered pair now the next question is is these two elements same no they are not same why they are not same because in the first tuple the first position is taken by 1 second one is taken by 2 whereas in this second tuple the first position is taken by 2 and the second position is taken by 1 so this is the difference between the two element and that's where the ordered pair is important and that is the concept of it okay now let me explain you the concept further with an help of an example so i have two sets say a which contains two element red and blue and another set b which contains three elements say b c and s you can always represent your set in a diagram form okay this is something which you have learned in your 9th standard if you have forgotten no worries because we will be putting up videos on the set chapter also for that you need to subscribe our channel and watch all the videos okay now let us come back to the concept of ordered pair so when i am making ordered pair what is important order in which the element are been placed from the set is important so which is the first set i'm that i'm choosing the first set is a and the second set is b okay so here is how you make ordered pair you can choose any of the element from the first set be it red or blue i'm starting with red okay so red can pair up with blue uh, b red can pair up with c and red can pair up with s let me write down what i just said what i did was i have paired red with b then red with c red with s okay so this are the three different ordered pair now we are left out with blue same thing can hold for blue also so blue goes with b you can write down simultaneously blue goes with b blue goes with c and blue goes with s okay one important observation here is see in all these elements the first element are always coming from my set a and the second element are coming from my set b so there is a particular order there is a particular order which is followed by the elements okay 
so this was all about how you make ordered pair from the elements given in the set but we want to learn something more that is cartesian product so how that will come into picture so for cartesian product all you have to do is place all this distinct see different has got a new name in maths It's sometimes different elements are also called as distinct element okay so we will be placing all this distinct possible ordered pair in a set now how to do that it's very easy just place all this element in a set that is put them in a curl braces and separate these elements by commas okay so once you have done this what you have done is you have formed a set of all possible distinct ordered pair from the set a and b this is nothing but your cartesian product now what is the notation for this cartesian product it is always denoted by the first set a the first set a then comes the product sign followed by the second set b what it what you did was you have formed a set which contains elements now this is one element this is the other element like that you have six distinct element now what is the specialty they are nothing but ordered pair of elements which are coming from the set a and b hope you understood the concept of cartesian product now we are in a position to see the mathematical definition for cartesian product so let me give you the mathematical definition now let us see what it says given two non empty sets so the very first word to understand is non empty what is the meaning of non empty that your set should have at least one element right let me write down it should have at least one element more elements are allowed but the minimum element that you need in the set a p and q should be at least one minimum should be one then the cartesian product see this is the notation of cartesian product p cross q is nothing but the set of all this set contains what it contains all ordered pairs of elements which is coming from p and q now we write this in the set notation form cartesian product p cross q that is cartesian product of the set p and q which is denoted by p cross q is nothing but set so i have denoted it by my curl braces that is set what it contains it contains all ordered pair just now we saw that how ordered pair are written they are written in round brackets separated by comma and where the elements are coming from the set p and q so order of the element is important the first element is belonging this is how you read this sign the first element p is belonging to my set capital p and my second element is belonging to my set q so this is read as cartesian product of p cross q is nothing but the set which contains all ordered pair where the first element is coming from the set p and the second element is coming from the set q so this is how is the mathematical definition for cartesian product now let us strengthen our concept by taking one more example so here i have my set a now it contains three element and i have set b which contains two element now the question is to form cartesian product or find the cartesian product of the set a and b okay so what you will do is you can simply start making ordered pair without making diagrams also now just because we are starting it's new so let us represent our set in the diagram form and then make ordered pair you can go directly also okay so this is how i have represented my set now what is the different different possible pairs that you can make a1 goes with these two so i'll write down and say it simultaneously a1 goes with b1 i have written the first ordered pair that a1 is being paired with b1 a1 can go to b2 what is important the first element came from the set a the second is coming from the set b same can be done with a2 a2 going with b1 a2 going with b2 and a3 going with b1 see i have written your a3 going with b1 and a3 going with b2 is there any possibility that i have left out check out all the elements of a a1 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 a2 a2 a3 a3 
are covered and all elements of b are also covered so these are the six distinct different possible ordered pair that you can make from the set a and b but this is not the question we are being told to form cartesian product so what you will do is you will place this element in a set so just make curl braces and put these elements in the set separate them by commas okay so this is nothing but a set which contains all distinct ordered pair from a and b and this is nothing but your cartesian product what is the notation it is first set a then the product sign followed by the other set b so this is how you make cartesian product from the two given sets a and b hope the concept is clear to you now in the next video i'll try to explain you more properties of cartesian product and we will see some more example for that you subscribe our channel and keep watching the videos